A sight just as fascinating to these teenagers are offbeat experiments on scientific subjects. Sounds dull, perhaps, but the holiday time lectures given at the Royal Institution are always packed. Started by Faraday, the famous scientist in 1826, as a special treat for schoolchildren, the emphasis being on entertainment, they proved so popular, they've continued ever since. Sir Lawrence Bragg, director of the Royal Institution, always takes part in the demonstrations. Here he proves the existence of electrostatic lines of force, the silk thread standing out along the lines. When the lectures first began, science was not taught in schools. Thus, the Royal Institution did valuable pioneer work in this branch of education, an aim it still follows in these days when young scientists are needed more than ever. Alternating current from the mains induces current to a ring dropped over the coil. But the coil has an electrical field of its own, repels the ring, and up it goes. The objects of the Royal Institution are to carry out research, the Davy Miner's lamp and the thermos flask were invented here, and to spread scientific knowledge. 20,000 London schoolchildren attend term time lectures here. This ring magnet has a rotating magnetic field carrying the ball with it. Here's one of Faraday's experiments. An electric current is fed to this cage. The girl is safe since the electrical field is directed outwards and to show the direction of the field, those foil streamers will stand out. It confirms one thing about science down the ages. There has always been something to make your hair stand on end.